Hello everyone, this is Nicklore4567, and welcome back to another Crafted Nations episode. Today, I am at a place that you guys have never been before. Um, this is, if you can guess from this in my inventory and all these lamps around, a, a guardian farm. And it was not made by me, or anyone in my nation as a matter of fact. It was actually made by this group on the server called Empora Studios. So, yeah, there are signs all around the place saying that. And this farm is really cool. Uh, it's It works, like, actually really well. I think, um, at least I think. I don't really, like, know because this is the only Guardian farm I've ever seen. But I'm assuming it works pretty well. And it works well enough for me because you get a lot of prismarine from it. So, yeah, I've been AFKing here uh, today and um, a little bit yesterday, too. And so, yeah, I've just been getting a bunch of this stuff. So I just kind of wanted to show this off because I was here. And that may be a cool way to start the episode. So, yeah, they fall through there. They come down. They go through this, like, if we can, we could probably check this out. They go through this, like, lava thing that... Um, that will kill them. Well, it will, like, put them on fire. And then if we come down here, so that sets them on fire. Down here we have a hopper minecart that's running from down there. And sometimes that happens, but all you have to do is just get rid of them. Um, basically, what this is doing is um, it cooks... It No, it doesn't cook them. It, like sets them see they fall and they're on fire and then they flop around and they eventually will die nope don't see that one died and then this one will die too so yeah they die and then the hopper minecart picks up their stuff and then we can check this out oh this is the other one that's messing stuff up and then the hopper minecart picks up their stuff and then it comes up here and into this area where this power there's a comparator I think and if it has stuff in it it stops and then it unloads and then the drops go into here so yeah um, a lot of the stuff that's right there was already there before I got here like there was this deck 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 all the fish not like the uh, predefined spaces basically but yeah so I know if it's over this much prismarine charts and this much crystals then it's stuff that I've gotten while I was here so I'm not gonna take all of it cuz you know I didn't even build the farm so they can have some of that <laughs> although they already have a bunch of prismarine probably from this so yeah it's really cool if we go up top you can see more this is the symbol of their thing I think looks cool yeah they're a cool group uh, I'm happy that they let me use this cuz I do need some prismarine and this is a nice way to get it before my nation builds a farm. So if we come up here, I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's an ender chest. That's actually really useful. Oh, and also I killed that wither that we got the three heads for. Um, but I tried to record it, but no sound recorded. So, oh well. It wasn't that eventful anyways. It took like two seconds. So um, if we come out here, that they made this little building thing. Sea lanterns, and then down here is like the the desert, not desert, the um, water te temple is right there, so, yeah, it's pretty cool, I think they use sugarcane to kill it up here, maybe, I actually have no idea why the sugarcane is here, I don't know, maybe it was a concept, they were using sugarcane definitely to, like, in the area that I had, I don't know, it works, I don't really understand how it works completely, but, yeah, actually, there should be boats around. So, yeah, basically, oh, I just hit my mic, I don't know if you guys heard that probably. So basically what I'm going to do now is head back to spawn, and then we're going to work on something else. I just kind of want to show this to you guys, yeah, looks really cool. Um, I asked for them to send me the coordinates of it, and I actually kind of just stumbled upon it randomly, because I wasn't looking for it, I wasn't planning on going here today, but yeah, I stumbled upon it, so yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys back in a sec. 
All right, guys. So you may know where this is. <laughs> um. So I'm back at. Uh, I'm back away from the monument area, and I'm actually underground. Wow, look at that. So again, <laughs> so this is the zombie spawner. It's something that we worked on a little bit before, where it's just uh, we made this cooker thing. So they like brings the zombies down to one hit kills basically and so uh... what we're doing right now is uh... i this room is so ugly and oh, i killed some of them this room is so ugly and it really just i don't know i don't approve basically i think it needs some revamping there's a sign here arg i want your brain and some nice gold booties i think megan probably made that So. This room needs some revamping. It needs to look a lot better than it does currently. So I came up with the design and creative that I'm going to do. And I'm basically just going to, for a part of this episode today, we're just going to work on this a little bit. And yeah, and, and you know, move these chests around to acceptable locations. So yeah, I'm going to be jumping in and out of my test world, basically trying to remember the design. I remember it pretty well, but just like the dimensions of the room are kind of escaping me right now. I know it's probably like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's nine by like six or something. I don't know. But yeah, so we're going to work on this. I'm going to move around these chests. You know, it's going to be a big thing. So let me just dump the stuff that we're going to use. We're going to use red sand, quartz, sand, and sandstone for this room, and redstone lamps, which I forgot. So yeah, those are the things that we're going to be using uh, to make this room look better, basically. And the colors really work well together, I think. So I don't know. It should be interesting. But yeah, so I have some work ahead of me that I need to do. And I'll see you guys back when, oh, when that's not happening. So see ya in just a second. Oh my god, no. No, no. Oh god. Oh, crap. Did I mess that up? Oh crap. The water stream's like right up here. That's not good. Yes, flow. Flow into there. Okay. Um. You know what? It doesn't need to be that tall, I guess. Well, we could just have like... Yeah, I'll need to do some remodeling since that needs to be there. Oh, God. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back when... Oh. You know what? So just leave that line right there. It could work still. I have faith. Okay, so yeah. I'll be back when I have the room probably cleared out. Maybe the floor laid down. These chests out of the way, probably. So, yeah. Probably in a little bit. All right, guys, that didn't take too long. Um, so what I've done is I've moved some of these chests over here. I've kind of dug out the room how I want it. <laughs> I See, the way I work is that I don't really work in like any sort of order. So I don't know. It's like I just do what I like, whatever I see first, basically. So right now I thought I'd lay out the floor for you guys, well, with you guys. Um. Yeah, so the floor is going to be red sand, and then we're going to have these walls that are the smooth sandstone and the ceiling, but then they're going to have quartz pillars. So, yeah, it works out pretty good when you're when it's all said and done. Um, so this is the floor, and... Uh, what? Uh, hmm, I'm trying to remember what you do. I'm pretty sure this just goes up. Like this. And then we can just fill that in with cobblestone, actually. <laughs> I'm not being... I'm being kind of cheap on this, but it's like... Why fill in spaces that you can't see is my thing. So it's like... I'd much rather fill in stuff I'm going to see than fill in stuff that I'm not going to see. Like, for instance, when this roof is in, I'm not going to see that corner right there. Right? Yeah. So I'm not going to see this right here, or this right here, because these walls are going to be in. So why would I, why would I show stuff I'm not going to see, really? So yeah, maybe do some building on camera. Uh, maybe talk about some things. So, 
uh, school started um, a couple days ago, and yeah, that's been really time consuming. <laughs> uh, it's like, because I have AP classes and just a bunch of stuff that is not like, you know, it requires time and energy. So, yeah, there has been a lack of videos lately. That is why i um, just been trying to, you know, get everything set for that. Ooh, that looks, looks good. See how I just like jump around to the side of the room now? It's it's crazy, I know. But it's just the way I work. Um So yeah, basically AP classes are time consuming and I'm doing like a bunch of clubs and stuff this year, so keeping up with this is gonna be kinda difficult, but I'm gonna really I'm really gonna try to do it because I really like doing this and it's kinda like a good release of like your creativity doing this stuff and just playing this game in general so yeah but during the summer I uploaded more videos than I'm definitely going to be uploading now that school's in because life is just more time consuming can't be playing video games all day anymore wow that's actually pretty close done now I'm not going to have these torches all around I have spots for like I think there's going to be a redstone lamp like is that going to be one here or here. Here and here, or here and like, I don't know. Uh, there's definitely going to be one here. And then I may just put them like that. Not really sure, but right now we need to kill these zombies because we need to work on this part because this part is still kind of messed up. How I'm getting rid of them, by the way, is I just keep on pushing this button. It just like kills them so nicely. Because I'm not trying to get their experience right now. Like, I don't have time for that. So they can just die. Come on. You can do it. You want to die too? Go. Yeah. It's a good way to kill them. Kill them off. Uh, yeah, but the exit for this room is going to be right here. Uh, hmm. You know what? I may have to rethink that. I may have to rethink that. I can. I can probably figure something out. That was going to be the exit of the room. It could be right here. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so... That's just, you know, problem stuff. But I'm still going to try to upload. It just probably won't be as much as I'm used to and you're used to. Uh, ooh, we need a crafting table here. Uh, do I seriously not have... Okay, I have planks right there. Got kind of worried for a second that I actually forgot to bring planks. Well, I forgot to bring planks. That's that's the truth, but someone brought planks. So that's good. Just put it right there for now. Uh, Yeah, you know what we could also do? Hmm. The enchantment table is going to be right there. Right there bookshelves are going to be around it. Um, hmm. Oh, we were working on this. Yeah, so, just stuff like that, but I'm not really too concerned about it. I'll just probably not be doing stuff that's going to be as time-consuming, I guess. Uh, we definitely want this to be as layered as possible. And right here, too. So we have three left. Three more things to place. So we can just place those up. Did I break it? Yeah, I broke it. I was pressing the button too much. Wait, I wonder if I could press too much again. You know what? That's actually... No, it's not good because I need to break blocks. Did I just fix it by doing that? I think I did. Okay, so... Yeah, that's just a problem. Hold on. Oh, and then we can just go like... Hey, that's, that looks pretty nice. And then we should get high level enchants. Alright, so... We can actually exit right here. No, no, same problem as that. Okay, so... 
Thanks for right here. <laughs> uh, what we're gonna have is, you know what? Um, yeah, I think we are gonna have pillar here. I need to kind of edit the design because I forgot that there was this button right here. So, yeah, but I think I'm editing the design for the better, not for the worse. So that's good. Oh my god, these zombies are so annoying. Honestly, like, I just can't take it. I wish I could just, like, deactivate the spawner. But why would I do that? I'm too lazy for that. God, obviously I'm lazy. I'm a lazy person, right? Obviously. If I spend this much time playing a game and doing tedious stuff like this, then I'm obviously a lazy person. That's what always, you know, makes me mad when people say that they're lazy and then they build, like, something, like, just crazy. And they're like, I'm so lazy. It's like, you're not lazy. You're... When I think of lazy pe when I think of lazy people, I do not think of you. <laughs> you are not a lazy person, although you may want to be. I don't know. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> I think we finished it just now. That's kind of crazy. I was not expecting that to be the end. Um, you know what? Let's add stuff right there. I think maybe. Yeah, I have a feeling these chests are just going to pile up to the roof eventually because there's a lot of stuff that you need to take into consideration. Oh, oh, that's a good thing to have those instant health potions. So we're going to abuse this chest right here for personal storage. And it's going to be all personal storage stuff, so we can just click everything in there. So yeah, this is basically what the room's going to look like, except there's going to be redstone lamps and probably an anvil over here. Probably an anvil right there. Um, but yeah, there's the, going to be the enchantment table here, where you can just enchant all your stuff. Uh, this is not, these two things are going to be moved, this is probably going to be moved to, like, here, and this is going to be moved to, like, here, probably. Actually, I'm moving this right now, now that I think about it. And what we also are going to do is take these item frames. Oh, that's why I didn't have stuff on top in the thing. I could just put item frames like on them, right? That works. See, I was going to put them on top, but then I can't put chests on top, so nope, not going to happen. Okay, and then this is just going to be personal storage for whatever you want. Um, Yes, yeah, so we can move this now. So all we need to do is move this ender chest. So I need to grab my silk touch pick and we need to add the lamps. So I'm going to go get those things and then we'll be back. In case you guys are wondering, the zombie spawner, I never showed it in the last video. It's like right over here, this island right here where we were like harvesting dirt before. And that's where we fought the um, guardian thing and I died. Fun times sometimes. But yeah, in case you're wondering, that's where all that stuff that's where this is all taking place um and so yeah uh yeah cause I didn't show it in the last video but now it doesn't really matter because it's not like spawners are really in high demand right now it's not like if someone comes and uses this it's gonna be the end of the world anymore I added this I added the ladder too by the way cause I had to get out of here somehow so yeah, that happened. I need to replace that with sandstone. And yeah, so I think this came out pretty well in the end. There we go. So yeah, this came out well. I got my silk touch pick so I can grab this guy now. And I can move him here. So something that we need to also do with this silk touch pick is we need to take this guy and this guy. We need to move this here. We need to move this here. <laughs> I may change that, but the light goes here. And I'm not changing that because the light actually looked really good in the location it was. So yeah, the light goes here. I did this all in a creative world, by the way. I don't know if I said that. So that's how I know where this stuff goes. The other light goes here, so... 
know what? It doesn't really matter. There's a chest in front of it, because chests are transparent blocks. Did I just put a torch there instead of a lever? I think that might have just happened. You know what? Let's just get rid of this. There we go. And let's put a lamp here. Let's put our pillar here. Let's start moving these other things just to see. Yeah, light goes here. Just see what happens. Um, I think I got rid of all the lights now, so. Yeah, it really does not require much lighting for this, which is one of the great things. Wait, can I? This should go up to 30. So yeah, I may move this uh, block somewhere else. This pillar probably. That would go. That could go right there. Hmm. I just want to block this light because then it would be dark. Like if I put a block there, it gets dark over there. So yeah, that's why we need to have that. And I don't want to put like something right here because then it won't shine as bright. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, we got this great thing now. Um, it's revamped. It looks nice. Got a ladder. Uh, and yeah. Hold on. And I can enchant and stuff. Let's grab some books. Let's grab a book. Uh, let's do two books. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't really care that much right now. It's just books and lapis. That's the great thing about enchanting books. Punch one. Um, I really would prefer not to get that actually. Oh, and we need to add an anvil. An anvil. Oh, grabbed too much of that. Okay, so you can go right there. Voila. So now we could oh we can inch I forget I have an ender chest like right here. I have uh, access to all my diamonds. Um, yeah, I've been mining a lot, and that's not all of my diamonds either. I'm not keeping all of them in my ender chest. And you'll see why later. That's good. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Yep. That, ju that was my reward for doing so well. Luck of... You know what? Whatever. I don't care that much. That was my reward for doing this. Okay, so, yeah, turned out pretty well. Then you can just go like this, and then let's test this out, actually. I, like, I'm hoping that they don't die. I feel like they're going to, though. Man, so many just died. That's a problem, I think. Yeah, how many are there now? Like twelve? Mm, I don't. Did I actually just do that? <laughs> I just threw it. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, I need to move some of this stuff over to back to my place. But uh, yeah, I think this turned out pretty well. Ooh, it's kind of dark over there. I mean, compared to here, it's kind of dark. Is the block light below seven? Where it is the block light? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally cannot find the block light. I I'm gonna assume it's less than 7. Did they move where the block light was? Oh, there it is. 11, 10, 9, 10, 9. We're good. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. This is pretty nice. So, something that we probably should add in the future is like a villager that trades zombie flesh for emeralds, then we would be in such good shape. But we don't have that power at the moment. But yeah, I think this turned out really nice. Um, I think that's going to be it, guys. Uh, it's kind of a shorter episode, but not really a problem for me. Um, and probably not a problem for you either. You know what? Something that we can do. Let's, I want an enchanted one. Uh, I want one of you, and I want like one of you. Let's take a helmet. Yeah, let's just 
put this stuff in the item frames and call it good for now. So, and then I want the enchanted stuff though because it gives off. Ooh. You know what? No. <laughs> there. There. Okay, so, yeah, and then we could, this is zombie flesh, right? That's what we're going to put in there. Zombie flesh. And this is more armor. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right, guys, so this is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you liked the room. Leave me your comments, suggestions. You know that. You know all that stuff. Um, probably going to try to fix this so that doesn't kill them. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so this has been Nick Lore 4567, and I will catch you around. Goodbye.